Hello, Captastic ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my 200 subscriber special. I would like to thank my subscribers, whether you're an early one or a long time subscriber, for having been a part of my channel, for watching my videos, for giving them a like. That's really, really appreciated. It's nice to see that there is some support, some ways, or somewhat, for the videos I put out. Uh, the reason I make these videos is to connect with the Pokemon community and for you to connect with me. So I'm happy that it is some way uh, working, I would say. We are going to be celebrating this milestone or reaching my personal goal of 200 subscribers by opening up some more booster packs in our 1000 Pokemon TCG Online booster pack opening. We opened up 400 booster packs in the two previous parts uh, which were put out for my 50 subscriber special and my 100 subscriber special so the packs that are left are primal clash ancient origins xy flash fire plasma storm plasma freeze plasma blast noble victories next destinies legendary treasures emerging powers dragons exalted dark explorers and boundaries crossed and today we are going to be opening up the next 200 packs which is 121 packs of Primal Clash and nope, not XY, but 79 packs of Flash Fire. And we are actually going to start with the Primal Clash packs here. So let's start off with the first pack and get this groove going. And can we start off with an ultra rare? In the previous two parts we didn't manage to do so. We do start off with a double rare pack and a Sceptile Ancient Trade. Apparently I do not have this card yet so that's pretty nice. But it's not an ultra rare so maybe in the, in the next part uh, we, I might be able to start off with an ultra rare. The next part is going to be for my 500 subscriber special. There will be about 250 packs open in that, in that part. And then the last part of this series is going to be for my 1000 subscriber special. And there we will be opening up the oldest booster packs that you just saw. From Plasma Storm all the way... Oh, sorry. All the way to Noble... Um, I, I forgot. Was it Dragon's Exalted? But anyways, all the way back from Plasma Storm. We saw a Nidoqueen Ancient trade in the previous pack. So far no Ultra Rares, many Ancient trades. We see the Medicham. The Medicham is a pretty nice uh, card to build a deck around. It was fairly popular a while ago. But by the time you're seeing this video, that will be a long, long time ago. Because I'm actually recording this video at the time that I have 50 subscribers. Because all of the openings of these packs, so the five different parts, were all recorded straight after each other. We see our first Ultra Rare, a Trevenant EX. Um, not really the Ultra Rare we are hoping for. We are looking for Primal Kyogre and a Primal Groudon from this set. As well as maybe a Secret Rare Enhanced Hammer, that could be nice as well. We do see an ancient trade Macargo and a Gorbis, which is garbage. Very, very similar. Really one of the worst ancient trade cards out there. Nice artwork, but that's all. We do see a Beedrill here with a twin needle. Flip two coins. This attack does 50 damage times the number of heads. But the most interesting about the Beedrill card is the allergic shock here. During your next turn, if the defending Pokemon is damaged by an attack, it is knocked out. That is pretty, pretty interesting. Could make for a fun deck. Now, as I was saying, uh, all of these parts, so the opening, oh, Waylord EX, that's pretty nice. I like I like to have the Waylord, Waylord EX. We've got two of them now. Yeah, so all the, all the openings were recorded when I have 50 subscribers, which is right now. So there might be a big difference in style between uh, now and when I reach 200 subscribers. I don't know when I will be reaching 200 subscribers. You who are watching this 
will know that when I reach 200 subscribers or future me will know. So here we, here we go, we've got the Primal Groudon EX. It is uh, with the Gaia Volcano attack. If there is any stadium card in play, this attack does 100 more damage. Discard that stadium card. We've got a full playset now of the Primal Groudon EX. But yes, as I um, as I was saying, I have absolutely no clue right now when I will be reaching the 200 subscriber milestone. I would like to hope it will be in the same year that I am recording this video, which is 2016. As I am recording uh, in, in the very beginning of January right now. In January 2016, you see a reverse tentacle, which is a new card that we didn't have yet in our collection. I remember seeing a lot of uh, these tentacle decks, which I think were decks made or played by bots on the PTCGO. Because who would build a deck around tentacle? It was. Our, the opponent started off with the tentacle in the active spot and then from what I could tell they, those decks often mulliganed in their first turns and I, there was so many energies uh, in those decks so I think they were decks that were run by bots for the daily challenges for some, for some way because it was at the time that the daily challenges were first introduced to the PTCGO and a lot of people actually try to take advantage of these challenges. Uh, so we see our Groudon EX to go with our Primal Groudon. Uh, that's really good. Yeah, a lot of people were taking advantage or trying to take advantages of these, trying to take advantage of these challenges by creating decks that would complete those challenges as fast as possible. But it was really not fun to play uh, against those decks because they were just trying to evolve their Pokemon uh, as fast as possible, but they were not attacking, so you were just basically playing against a very bad opponent. Uh, we do get a Mega Gardevoir EX, which we do not have yet, uh, with a brilliant arrow attack. This attack does 30 damage times the amount of fairy energy attached to all of your Pokémon. Uh, pretty good attack, goes very well with Aromatis from the XY expansion. And we get a Rhyperior Stage 2. Now that's a really, really stunning card, if you ask me, this Rhyperior. It's got a pretty interesting ability. Any damage done to your Pokémon by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10. So it's not a lot, but it can actually save the Rhyperior. Uh, I've, I've seen that happen where I was playing against uh, a deck that had this Rhyperior, Rhyperior and I couldn't uh, knock it out because it was saved by its ability. It got 10 HP left. So far, I think we are doing pretty well on the ultra rares here. Another Trevenant EX. With a Wood Blast, this attack does 20 more damage for each grass energy attached to this Pokemon. Sadly, there isn't uh, any way to accelerate the grass energy attachments at the time of this recording. Who knows uh, between now and when I reach through another Trevenant EX. That's the third one already. Jesus Christ. Is that... We can stop now with the Trevenant EXs. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've got enough of them right now. But yeah, who knows that in the time between now and when I'm I'm uploading this video for my subscriber special, what they have released. Maybe there is a, a, a grass Pokemon which is good for energy acceleration. Like the baby evil tall is good for energy acceleration with dark Pokemon. Or like the Landorus, I think it's the Landorus, is uh, very pretty good for energy acceleration of fighting Pokemon. Oh, and a secret rare switch. So not the... Not the um, Enhanced Hammer, but still uh, still a really nice secret rare. I won't be using it in my decks though, it will just go into my online collection, because I like to 
uh, have my decks consist completely out of reverse hollows. We see the Huntail here. It's a pretty good card to make a deck around. Yeah, I, I think I've mentioned that in each and every part of these um, recordings, these booster pack openings, that I like to make my deck out of reverse hollows. I don't know why, I just think it's... Yeah, maybe it's, uh, it's something different. Because you do see a lot of people playing with the ultra rares and the secret rare versions or the full art versions completely bling blinging out their their decks uh, don't really well i guess i do it too but then in the reverse hollow version it's not as much bling but it's definitely as hard as trying to get your deck to be fully blinged out by ultra rares full arts and secret rares because in order to get these enough reverse hollows of your cards, you need to open a fair amount of, of packs or do a lot of trading. We see the reverse hollow needle queen here, the first one we get of those. I think I, I would want to make a deck around the needle queen uh, some sometime soon. Because I haven't done so yet and every time I've played against a deck with the needle queen, it seemed pretty fun for my opponent to play. It's got some pretty nice attacks. Oh, and oh my god. My, oh, wow. Okay, it's a full art Trevenant EX, but it's another Trevenant EX. What's with all these Trevenant EXs? Kind of reminds me of... Um, pardon me. Kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings, the Trevenant EX. Of the uh, the living trees in the Lord of the Rings. I don't remember which part. Maybe they were featured in every part. I'm not sure. I've seen all of the Lord of the Rings films, but it's been a long time since I've seen them. They were really, really good films. If you haven't seen the Lord of the Rings films, definitely recommend uh, what to watch them. I have I haven't seen the Hobbit. Or any of the uh, later ones. So what, when I mean that I've seen the Lord of the Rings films, I mean the original ones. I haven't seen the, the prequels, which came out after the actual uh, original Lord of the Rings movies. But I've heard those are pretty good as well. I haven't read the books. Uh, I read too few books to my liking. I should read some more books. Oh, and a full art Waylord EX. Hell yes. I like a full art Waylord EX. That is such a... Yeah, such a... What's the right word here? Uh, a special Pokemon? I guess you could say the Waylord. It's definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, and here we go, our first Kyogre from this opening. We do already have, uh, we already had three of them, so now we have four total. Another completed playset. I think we've got, or rather, I've got the Primal Kyogres already in a full playset. But uh, I think some are secret rare, and then... I've got one from the Ancient Origins expansion, I believe it was. And then just a normal one. Oh, and a Gardevoir EX here. So I, It seems like we are doing pretty good on the pull ratios. I, I'm not sure, I haven't been really paying attention to the pull ratios, but from memory, or from my, um, how do you say it? First impression, I think we are doing around 1 in 5 or 1 in 6 packs. I'll definitely be putting the pull ratios at the end of this video. Uh, we get a Crawdont here. Oh wow, we've got a 6 of the six of those, so I thought I, I had less of the Crawdonts. Because I remember having to trade uh, for them uh, a couple of months back. I, I had none. I really wanted some for... I don't remember the deck that I used them for, it wasn't a Seismito deck, because at the time that I'm recording this, I don't really have 
uh, enough seismitoads to build a seismitoad deck. So we get a Sharpedo EX here. I could have I could have gotten seismitoads by trading, but I am not really a big fan of the seismitoad. It is a pretty good card, yes, it's very, very, very good actually. But I, yeah, it's just annoying, you know. I don't. I, I guess it, it's fun for for. It could be fun to play for me, but for my opponent, it would be really annoying. And I'd rather have fun playing a deck which is both fun for me and not annoying for my opponent than having fun based on the fact that I'm annoying my opponent, if you get what I mean. And a Macargo Ancient Trait. I think there's a secret rare dive ball in this set as well. That would be pretty cool to get as well. Oh wow, look at that! A Maxis Hidden Ball Trick Full Art! Wow, that's actually a really, really beautiful card. Look at that. With the... Uh, uh, this reminds me of Team Rocket here, when they are blasting off again. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Bing! Always a favorite... A, fa or, or, a staple, a staple in every... In nearly every Pokemon episode. Just like Shaman X is a staple in nearly every Pokemon deck out there at this at this moment. At the time of recording. I really want to stress that this recording was uh, done a long time ago probably from when you are watching this right now. We see the Spinda here with the Uproar, this attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. See, this is a, a pretty fun attack, so... Could be combined with the Bronzong from Breakthrough. We get a Reverse Holo Rhyperior. Not really a big fan of the Reverse Holo patterns. Pattern on these cards. Um, ah, it's okay, but it's not my favorite. Another Spinda. And a Mega Gardevoir EX, so it looks like I will be able to build a deck uh, with a guard around the Gardevoirs. Ideally, I would like to get maybe another Mega Gardevoir EX to do so. I'm not sure if you really do need three to be consistent, because I haven't played a Mega Gardevoir deck yet. I wonder if uh, if you like to, like, you, by you I mean the, the person who's watching this. Oh, here we get a Primal Kyogre EX, the third one in my collection, with the Tidal Storm. A very, very impressive card. So yeah, as I was saying, I, I'm wondering if you like, or, or rather what you like about the Pokemon TCG Online. Is it that you like playing against... Uh, people with uh, really competitive decks or are you rather interested in building decks than, than maybe necessarily playing them because I know uh, that I am more leaning towards being interested in coming up with decks and just playtesting them and fooling around with them a bit so that's why I, I, I really like to try and build some fun decks. And that's why I usually don't use uh, the decks that I make too long or, or very often because I move on to a new deck idea. Although so once in a while I go back to, uh, to an old deck I made. We see a Gardevoir EX. I like the uh, the Bronzong, Machamp and Smurgle combo deck. That that's one I, I really like actually. I want I want um, a what do you say uh, a tournament, two tournaments in a row with a deck. Really crush the the, op the opponents there. 
I, there, there were some non-competitive decks in those tournaments, but there were also some competitive decks like the Manectric decks and then the Evil Tal Zoroark Glade combo deck, which uh, has won quite a few cities in the USA in September, uh, December 2015. So I should take a look at where we are at with these uh, packs when after this one we do get a very 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 beautiful agron ex full art with the raging hammer this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this pokemon really really threatening uh, if you can't knock out this agron ex in one turn when it's fully powered up oh Ah, uh, my gosh, I forgot to look at the amount of packs. Another Macargo Ancient Raid. Whoa, we are down to the last 20 packs of Primal Clash. So we are going through them at a, at a steady pace. We are 20 minutes in, in the opening video. Or the subscriber special. Again, I really thank you very much for, for subscribing and, and liking my videos, for watching my videos. It's really appreciated. Uh, I really do um, enjoy... Oh, how, how, how should I put it? And enjoy being in touch with you guys uh, through Facebook, through Reddit, through Twitter, but mainly through, through this channel here. Uh, yeah, so if you didn't know, I am on uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. My username on Reddit uh, is not Shining Carp Carp because I made my Reddit a long time before I made this channel. My username on Reddit is actually A V I L O U, and how you'd say that is in Dutch it would be because I'm from Belgium so I speak Dutch it would be Avilu so I, I, I don't know how you would pronounce it in, in English actually a a Avilo um, it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense uh, in English but it doesn't make sense in Dutch either because it actually doesn't really mean anything it's a name I came up with as an alias or a nickname uh, way back when I was studying in secondary school, I believe, yeah. I used it the first time on a forum in secondary school and then I used it for all my accounts afterwards. So we are down to the last six packs. Can we try and finish strong with the Primal Clash booster opening? Oh, and there it froze for a moment. That was kind of weird. It froze completely for a moment there. We get a double rare pack with an Excadrill. The other Excadrill, the ancient the ancient trade Excadrill is a lot better than that one. It's a pretty good card, the ancient trade one. Oh wow look at that a mega God of War EX with a brilliant arrow attack again. Wait is the uh... Huh I'm a bit confused now. I thought we pulled the full art Mega God of War EX already, but we mustn't have then. We must have just been pulling the the regular art Mega God of War EX because it said it was the first one of those that we pulled. Okay, let's see how we. Oh. Ah, that was last pack. Oh my god, that was uh, such a failure. No, I don't want to go to the shop. I was just about to say, let's see if we can finish strong here. But I thought there was some more packs left. So apparently not. Apparently, so we did finish weak there. Uh, but we are definitely going to try and make up for it with the flash fire booster packs here. Imagine if we could finish this video by opening up a booster pack and pulling a full art Charizard EX. Because yes, that's what we are going for, which is flash fire packs. We are hunting for a full art uh, Charizard EX. Maybe the secret rare ones as well, but definitely the full art one. 
Uh, that one is my favorite of this set. And for the other EXs, I'm um, not really too keen on them. Uh, Kangaskhan EX could be nice, I guess. We do see a Fortress here, our fifth one of those. Pretty good, uh, pretty good card to combine with Noivern and Meowstic. Meowstic, a deck that I made uh, about three weeks before recording this video. That's a re that was actually a really, really fun deck to play. The Meowstic, Noivern and Fortress combo. And a Mega Kangaskhan EX. 79 out of 106 with the wham bam punch. <laughs> now, now that's uh, that's one of the better uh, attack names that I've seen in a in a while. The wham bam punch. Kind of reminds me of the uh, of the Flintstones with the the little the little dude there. I didn't I don't know who Sonny was, but he always, I think it was called Bam Bam. Very, very energetic little boy. Imagine that if that boy was your kid. Well, maybe don't imagine it if you're only like 10, year, 10 years old or 13 years old. Because that would be pretty weird. A Sligo reverse hollow. We did not have yet. I wonder which one of these XY sets I am closest to completing on the PTCGO. I'm guessing it would be Roaring Skies because I opened 124 packs of that in the previous part of this booster pack opening and I opened many many of Roaring Skies before that. I guess at least 200 because I pulled like three full art shamans and two regular art shamans before the previous part of this opening so that must have definitely been a fair amount of packs to to get those pulls i was really lucky with that because those shamans they man they they trade for so many packs that's that's ridiculous and i am now wasting oh well depends on how you see it but some would say that i'm wasting these packs because it's actually better um, to trade these packs for the cards that you want and to open them. Or at least that's what some say. But I like opening packs, so I will just open them. So far, no Charizard. We do get a Shiftry. Uh, very good card to combine with the with the giant first. Stadium, I think it's called Giant First. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. A double rare pack, and nothing much out of the double rare pack. If we get another Floatzel, I'm going to read the card because I don't think I've ever read the Floatzel card. Would be interested to see uh, what Floatzel actually does when it comes to his attacks. Reverse Litleo. That's interesting that I did not have that yet. And a Butterfree with Quiver Dance. The Butterfree was uh, one of those cards uh, with the... Uh, well, I should say that here we go, yeah. So the Caterpie here, it has the Adaptive Evolution and the Metapod has a similar ability. Oh, another Butterfree. So, uh, this Butterfree came out before the Giant Forest Stadium and could t then it was very good for this card to take advantage of these abilities, but when the Giant Forest Stadium came out, those abilities, they just uh, yeah, became meaningless because every Grass Pokemon could evolve during their first turn, they were put down with the Giant Forest Stadium. And another Butterfree, wow, my gosh. We are liking the Butterfrees, apparently. 
I guess it's because it's got free in the name, so whatever is free, you always tend to get or want to get more of. And a revile. We did get a dust clops. I'd love to pull the dust gnor. Uh, Hollow rare, I believe it is. Oh, and here we go, a mega Charizard EX. Unfortunately, it's not the secret rare. It's the number 69 out of. 106 but still a nice pull our first charizard out of the flash fire packs and apparently also our first card or our first uh, copy of this card in the ptcgo although i do think i have the secret rare and oh back to back ex is here a magnezone ex not a very good card even combined with the Magnezone Stage 2 from Breakthrough, it's pretty worthless because it does 50 damage, like, that's that's not a lot. Okay, it does 50 more to some, to a Pokemon on your bench, but uh, still, still not very impressive. And then Milotic here with Energy Grace. The other Milotic... Uh, with the other ability, I forgot the name of the ability, but it allows you to retrieve a card from your discard pile. That that Milotic, maybe you know what I'm talking about, is pretty popular in with Night March. If Night March is still a thing when you are watching this video, but it definitely is when this video was recorded. Definitely so. Night March, Vespa Queen. Uh, what else is there? Seismitoad and Polion, another Magnezone EX, um, Evil Tall Galade, Zoroark, Entei Charizard. Those are pretty popular decks. Houndoom, Bunnelby Mill. It's, inter it's really interesting to see how these kinds of things evolve as new sets came come out and which cards actually can persist from the standard format into the expanded format. nothing much in this booster pack we are about 30 minutes in i think it's a bit small on my screen to see so there we oh i clicked i clicked too fast we got the reverse hollow dusknor there that's i'm really happy with that reverse hollow dusknor and a another milotic okay another milotic so far, only Cher only one Charizard. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil! Here we go, another Charizard EX, the regular art, number eleven out of one hundred and six. This is the Charizard that is used in the uh, Entei Charizard combination deck. A pretty fast deck and a Mega Kangaskhan EX again with the Wham Bam Punch. Maybe I should try and build a fun deck around Mega Kangaskhan. But it does not have a Spirit Link, which is really... That's really a bummer. Oh, wow, look at that. Our third Charizard. The Charizards are coming now. They are acting upon our call. Charizard with a Crimson Dive. This Pokemon does 50 damage to itself, but it does a ginormous 300 damage to our opponent's Pokemon. Knocking out any Pokemon in the format, including Waylord EX and a fortress here. I should take a look again at the cards or uh, at the amount of packs that are left before I do the same thing as with Primal Clash and don't realize that we are opening our last pack. Double or a C dot here. Let's see how many C dots we already have. Oh, look at that. We've got 32 C dots. Wow. If you need any C dots, just drop me a message because I've got plenty of C dots. If you need any other cards as well, just drop me a message. I've probably got a copy of it that I don't need. Most likely. Uh, like this Weavile here. We have been pulling this Weavile a lot recently. 
Only got six copies of it, but that's definitely more than I will ever need. And a Lopani and a Gudra. So a double rare pack. Let's look at the Lopani here. Big jump. Once during your turn, you may return this Pokemon card and all cards attached to it to your hand. Yeah, that's uh that's uh yeah, I'd say it's a decent ability. Not bad. Fortunately, Lopani itself is only 90 HP. If I if I saw that right. Double Pokemon fan club. One reverse holo. We've got three reverse holo Pokemon fan clubs. That is enough. I don't use Pokemon fan, fan club a lot in my current builds because just because the current decks can go pretty fast with the Shaman EX that you don't even need a Pokemon fan club because you can just get your basics out using Ultra Balls and Shamans uh, like that. I remember that in a match. Oh wow, another! We've got four of these now. So this is, again, this is not a secret rare, but that's the fourth Charizard we have pulled from these packs. That is definitely a good ratio of Charizards. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, I was uh, going to tell you that in a recent match, I drew my deck down to six cards in my second turn. Um, that's just another Charizard EX here. The regular art again. That's just crazy. Like, second turn and having your deck down to six cards. I managed to win that match. I was a bit scared of decking out, but uh, like everything was set up because I could have. I, I drew into so many cards. Uh, another Mega King of Scan EX. So, uh, this is definitely a hint from the game that it wants me to build a deck around Mega King of Scan EX. I shall note it down so that the game will st stop giving me these Mega King of Scans now. It looks like we are. Oh, I was just about to say we are getting less of the reverse hollows as new cards, but apparently we did not have a. Pidgey in a reverse holo yet, and another Butterfree. And we are down to the last 11 packs, so this is the 11th pack of the last 11 packs with a Quillfish. Definitely should be able to pull one more Ultra Rare in these last packs. While we pull a uh, double Fluette here. So pretty, it's 70 HP and it's a rare and then the ability is pretty nice of this card. Flower Veil, each of your grass Pokemon in play gets plus 20 HP. That's uh, pretty cool, but if you want to put it in your deck, you're probably have, going to have to play Skyfield Stadium to have enough space on, uh, space on your bench for getting out these Floettes. And a Snorlax. I wish they would make another Snorlax EX. By, by the almighty Jesus, I would wish upon that so much. We, we see Stir and Snooze. If this Pokemon is asleep, flip two coins instead of one between turns. If either of them is Tails, this Pokemon is still asleep. That's a pretty fitting for Snorlax. Pretty fitting ability for good old Snorlax. Ah, here we go, we see a Floatzel. So we, the Floatzel has Rescue, shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Ah, okay, that's uh, that's actually not too bad. And then Screwtail, flip a coin if it has discarded energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon for two water energy. Um, okay, could be fun, but I'm not liking those two water energies on there. Would have much rather had it be a double colorless. We do get a reverse holo pyro here. We have a full playset now. And we are down to the last five packs. So far, no ultra rare in the last ten packs. So let's see if we can get one in these last five packs. Preferably a secret rare Charizard. And uh, most preferably or a full art Charizard EX. Can we do it? 
And oh man, another Butterfree! My gosh, so many Butterfrees. Second to last pack, or the last two packs here with double rare and a Durant. So, no ultra rares out of the last 10 packs so far. That means we are pulling an ultra rare in the last pack of this 200 subscriber special. Come on, fingers crossed. And. Okay, we started off with a fortress, I think, and we are ending with a fortress. If I remember correctly. Cor correctly. So, no ultra rare, unfortunately. In. Each of the three parts that I've recorded so far, so including this one, I did not manage to end on an ultra rare. Hopefully, I can manage to end on an ultra rare pull in the next two parts, which I will record right after this one. So, thank you very much for having been a part of my channel, as I said before. I really do appreciate it. Uh, in the next part, we I will be opening up 154 Ancient Origins packs and 83 XY booster packs. The next part will be at 500 subscribers. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you next time.